Welcome to this Windows channel and um, this is a quick video to talk about something pretty surprising today. The um, April 2018 update has been rolling out at an incredible fast pace. It reached 50% of Windows 10 PCs already. So if you just look at the fact that this April 2018 update has started rolling out about a month ago. It is an incredible, incredible number. Now, it's interesting because we see a lot of problems with this update and we're wondering exactly what's happening. And one of the things that, you know, we kind of find is maybe, you know, is it kind of careless uh, from Microsoft to have pushed this update so fast? You know, we're used to the first Windows 10 updates that typically were updates that would simply uh, roll out slowly at the beginning, really slowly. And then as time went by, these updates would roll out faster and faster. And at a certain time, reach, you know, a high number of users. And basically, they would do that to make sure, you know, the first reports coming out would tell them and the telemetry would tell them if there's things that are going wrong or not. And they would adjust and then, you know, start rolling out. And they pretty much did that with Creators Update and Fall Creators Update, which rolled out really well. Now, we're faced with an April 2018 update that is a mixed bag. When I look at the people, you know, for example, I had a problem with the update, but, you know, the clean install is perfect. And the clean install got zero problems. It's even really fast. But the thing is, is when you look at the blogs, it ain't, you know, a perfect update. There's There, there are lots of people complaining. Uh, more than the past updates. Now... Of course, if you look at 50% update, maybe the more people that are complaining is is mostly because there's more people that have upgraded. But uh, you got to think, you know, it's kind of interesting to see how fast this one is rolling out. And we're won wondering, you know, it's, it's rolling out fast. And, and why is it rolling out fast? Is Microsoft decided that, okay, you know, we're pushing this and that's it. But a 50% after a month... Uh, is is unseen um, to give you guys an idea it took two times more you know took two months to get 50 percent out of the fall creators update and three months to get to 50 percent when it was the creators update this is way different also uh, one of the things that i wonder on this update is the fact that a lot of you got it because you checked for it so microsoft used an interesting term seekers if you were seeking, so if you were just clicking Windows Update to see if it's there, you were apparently seeking, and it was there. So it's, I don't know, this is, uh, this is weird. You know, we'll see. Um, I mean, there are a lot of issues. Uh, there are a certain number of videos that I'm looking at to, to try to make in, uh, in post to help people that have some specific issues, because I'm looking at the general list of issues but there are a few of them that actually are the top ones you know that 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 are problems that actually uh, are there quite a lot and i'm seeing if i can do videos to help out um for for those that have been plagued with this type of problem but for sure um it's kind of interesting and it will be interesting to see will they push the next update in october as fast or even faster? What what are they going to do? Are they going to slow down? I think Microsoft needs to rethink its strategy here because obviously uh, by they're not saying anything, and um, they're not saying anything because it's very simple. You know, they know there are problems. It's impossible they don't know there are problems in the rollout of this one. But I think they're not saying anything because if they admit there's a problem, then they kind of tell the world, oh, okay, April 2018 updates played with issues, so let's not update. While they're not saying anything, while well, people are upgrading, and, uh, you know, once again, for the most part, if we look at the stats, the majority of people don't have a problem. But there's a higher number of issues with this update than there was in the past, and we got to face that. 
So I don't know. We'll be looking at that, but 50%. Come on. I mean, the last number was like close to 700 million. That means 350 million people already have this thing. Whoa. Pretty incredible. Um, I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? What do you guys think about this fast rollout? I know a lot of you are surprised to have it. I've seen people saying, hey, I, I didn't have the other updates until like months. And this one's showing up now. Um, I don't know. I think Microsoft needs to rethink that strategy. I think it needs to rethink the strategy in a way that, uh, you know, the rollout doesn't have as many issues. It needs to rethink also, I think, on the insider side to have less problems. This thing was delayed, and it wasn't delayed for fun. It was delayed because something was obviously wrong. So that's going to be, uh, I don't know, it's an interesting uh, update here. And we'll continue checking out the situation, of course. So uh, half of you out there are now already on this 2018 update, apparently. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.